Well, this one's also protein, so it's got the beef in it too. So then if you do this, I also want you to do either a little bit of chicken or a little meatballs with it. Make sure we're getting enough protein in there. Next week we're going to do a little Caribbean flair, get some Puerto Rican food in here. Hi, I'm Emma Fake. I'm the Director of Sports Nutrition for the University of Washington Athletic Department. You have Mexican food? So it didn't sit well or? My main job is to help educate and teach the athletes how to fuel their bodies, both for competition, for training, for everyday life. Uh, we do a lot of work with our athletes for what happens after athletics, whether that means you're going to the NFL or you're getting a job. You know, they say you can't outwork a bad diet. We try to think of nutrition as just as kind of an important pillar, just like sports medicine is, just like the coaching piece is. If you're not fueling your body for endurance, you're not fueling your body for strength, then you're not going to be able to perform at that level out on the field or on the track or on the court or whatever it might be. All right, everybody, protein power, protein power, get recovered. They're full-time students. They have uh, GPA requirements. You know, they're going to tutoring, academic advising, they're practicing, they're doing treatment to make sure their bodies are recovered and healing and feeling good. A lot of my job is trying to find time that it's not adding to what else they're doing. I'm good with salad. Yeah, she's tough. <laughs> um, she'll, she'll, she'll know. Uh, she wants you to eat right. She, she's like a little bug that just you can't scratch. Uh, you know, always, always talking to you, always getting you the right food. So it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a huge for me, a huge, huge benefit to have her here. Um, I think the toughest part is that there's so much noise about nutrition out there. You know, everybody's a nutritionist. Everybody wants to talk about the latest fad diet, the best supplement. So really helping our student athletes filter that out um, and, and customize what they're doing for them and saying, you know, don't follow the crowd, you know, be really careful where you're getting your information from and what kind of information you're getting because it's not always safe, it's not always reliable, it's not always backed by scientific evidence. I always say I have the best seat in the house. Our amazing supporters come out and they see our athletes perform and they see them win and, you know, they see the outcome of all this hard work, but I get to see it day in and day out and I get to see these athletes and, you know, how hard they're going in the gym or on the court or in the training room and all the blood, sweat and tears that goes into that. Yep. And that's so rewarding to see the behind the scenes work.